Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. In this video I would like to show you how to check for bad head or bent valves. Uh, this is a 2013 Honda Odyssey and uh, the timing belt slipped and we are assuming we have a bed cylinder number six. So what we're gonna do, I actually have a little bit of a paint thinner, you could use brake cleaner or anything else. You want to make sure all your intake and exhaust valves are closed and we actually gonna pour a little bit of a paint thinner on top of each cylinder and see uh, if it holds. If the cylinder does not hold that means we have a leak and we either gonna see uh, thinner come out of uh, intake port or exhaust which is on the back. So let's get going. Uh, my Check engine light was coming on and uh, I had a very low compression on cylinder number six. Let's see what happens. Here now I'm going to pour on a cylinder number four. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it. Okay, as you can see it's nice and full and we'll see if that holds. Now we're going to go to number five. Okay, as you can see, it's nice and full. So far, it's sitting there. It's not going anywhere. This is apparently the bad cylinder. So let's see what happens here. All right, so we also just had that filled up. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a couple minutes, and uh, we're going to watch it, see what happens. It usually take, you know, if, if the leak is small leak, it's going to take a couple minutes before it works itself through. But we should start seeing some results. As a matter of fact, we could see cylinder number five already causing a leak. So that was a weak cylinder. And, and just in a minute, we should see cylinder number six also fail. Uh, but that's what happened. So we actually going to overhaul the head and I'll also make in my next video how we overhauling the head will replace all the intake exhaust valves and uh, we'll also rub them in and, and check for leaks. But this is a first sign. You can see that the no cylinder number five intake valve is faulty and it's definitely seeping through. So when the head is on the engine, imagine all those hot gases, they just come right through and it causes misfire. Um, and you lose compression. So number six is still holding, but it will eventually give because I already did a test earlier. Or it could be coming out in exhaust. As a matter of fact, look how wet my exhaust is. All that shiny is my thinner making through exhaust. So my exhaust valves are bent because most likely when uh, the vehicle was in an accident and uh, it was hit in the passenger side. My timing belt slipped a couple teeth and, uh, and Honda usually bends the valves. Once again, I appreciate you watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. In my next video, I'll show you how we overhauling the head and uh, we'll be posting cool videos daily. Thank you for watching. Okay, this is continuation of my video regarding the doing the leak down test. So here's what actually happened. I poured the thinner on my fourth, fifth, and sixth cylinder. And as you can see, my check engine was coming on uh, with the P0306, and uh, my timing belt slipped, obviously, so it bent the valves. Not much, because, like I said, the engine was running pretty smooth, and then time to time it would uh, catch with the P0306. So I poured a little bit of thinner, on top of each cylinder I made sure all my intake and exhaust valves were closed and I uh, I made sure that was all closed and I poured thinner so I gave it about five minutes and you could see cylinder number four is like one of the best ones um, I'm not sure if you could see but there's still actually you know fluid right there uh, cylinder number five is is a decent cylinder but it's also it's no good I mean you could see it's still there but cylinder number six it's pretty much empty and you could see there's there's no it's pretty much dry you could see what happened and uh, if you take a look at my intake valves 
as you can see, look how nice and uh, wet it is here. This one's cylinder number four is completely dry. Cylinder number five is leaking on intake side. And uh, cylinder number six, the intake is dry, but the exhaust valves are shot. I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but uh, look how wet it is. I mean, and I actually took the flashlight and I shined in there and I was able to see the how, how terrible it is. And as you can see, it's pretty much empty. Uh, but that's that's how I test my head. So if you buy a used head and you know before you put it on, um, I recommend doing this test because you could get a head that's warped, bent valves, and you'll go through all the hassle putting it on, wasting a new head gasket, um, intake manifold gasket, upper and lower, and then you'll actually do your timing and you'll start the car and then 20 minutes later you'll be taking it apart again so this is the best way to check you could uh, you know when the head is still on the vehicle you could do a compression test and that's what I did before I went ahead and ripped this thing all apart I actually did a compression on every cylinder and you want to make sure the compression is within 10 percent of each cylinder but I was uh, I was getting like uh, around 220 PSI 222 on the rear on the first second and third my fourth was like 195 and then fifth was still 180 and then my cylinder six was barely pushing 150 psi so this is how you do it please subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll be posting very cool videos daily and uh, any questions just uh, shoot me an email once again thanks for watching this is george with melnix automotive